Hello lovelies, I'm Christina and welcome back to my channel. I'm here in my kimono. I have some candlelight and we've taken it to the bedroom. And you know what that means. It's about time for episode two of Exploring Erotica. Sorry that this has taken so long for me to make, but I have been reading up on my erotica lately and I'm really excited to finally get to share some of my thoughts on the books that I've read so far. I will also show you what I am planning on reading uh, in the near future so you know what's going on with the project and you can hop along if you want to. I am considering making a book club for this Exploring Erotica. If any of you are interested in that, let me know in the comments down below and I'll make sure that we have one. Now the first book that I'm going to mention is one that I mentioned in my first episode of Exploring Erotica. When I filmed that I was about 20% through with that book but now I've finished it and that is The Gentleman's Club by Emmanuel de Maupassant. This book is truly amazing. It is set in Victorian London. You see the going on in a gentleman's club where there is a man that really gets to explore his boundaries and falls in love with a woman that works in the gentleman's club and runs the show there. It is an amazing story. It's really well written. Amazing read. Highly recommend if you want something that pushes the boundaries a little bit but isn't too heavy on the subjects. I really enjoyed it. I'm not one that gets easily scared by uh, really graphic and adult content. I really enjoy it. So this was definitely an A plus experience for me. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars and it is one of my favorites of the project so far. The next one is more of a classic and this is one that is more sensual than really sexual and erotic. That is Cherie by Colette. I will just read you the synopsis for this. Leah de Lonball is a magnificent and aging courtesan facing the end of her career. She has devoted the last six years of the to the amorous education of the handsome and spoilt Cherie, a playboy half her age. When an adventurous marriage is arranged for Cherie, Leah reluctantly decides that their relationship must end, but neither lover can foresee how deeply they are connected or how much they will have to give up. Cherie is more of a really sensual story. There's a sexual undertone throughout the whole story that you really can feel while you read it. It is beautifully written and I can see how this one is a favorite of so many. For me, it wasn't a story that really captured me as much as I wanted it to, but I still really enjoyed it and I ended up giving it a 4 out of 5 stars. The next read is a short story collection and that is Delta of Venus but a nice name and this one was recommended to me by so many and I really can understand why. Another one that is beautifully written, it touches on some really dark subjects containing sexuality that I wasn't expecting. I'm not saying it's a bad thing at all, I really do enjoy when authors push boundaries and try to talk about these subjects of sexuality that isn't so easy to touch upon and Anaisin definitely does that in this book. Some of the stories were just really hot and steamy and sensual and beautiful and some were really disturbing and questionable but still so so well written Definitely one that I enjoyed. I ended up giving this a 4 out of 5 stars. Again, this didn't capture me as much as the Gentleman's Club did, but it was definitely a beautiful experience and I highly recommend it if you want to get into classic erotic literature that touches on some disturbing subjects. The next one is also a short story collection and that is The Bloody Chamber and Other Stories by Angela Carter. It is sort of retellings from fairy tales, or classic fairy tales. Uh, in the four words in this one they talk about it's not really retellings of the stories but it's more of a story of what happens after. But for me it kind of resembled a lot of the stories that they talked about. You could see um, Beauty and the Beast being mentioned a couple of times in this one, Alice in Wonderland and Red Riding Hood. So you have a lot of these classic fairy tales told in a really different kind of way. 
I think I was expecting um, more graphic content and a little more sexuality throughout this, but this really was more of a combinement of sensuality and horror fairy tales. It was definitely an interesting read, but not my favorite so far. Another one that is really well written, I really enjoyed the way that Angela Carter wrote these stories and how she uh, builds up the stories to its climaxes. So definitely a good read um, when it comes to that, but I feel that there lacked something in this for me. Maybe it was just the mood I was in when I was reading it. For me, it ended up being a 3.5 out of 5 stars. Still really good, but not up there for me. And last but not least of the books that I've read is one that is more of an honorable mention. It is a book that for maybe a little younger crowd or someone that's really new to erotica that wants to kind of ease into it, uh, but wants some sexy content and some graphicness, but not too much, this is a good way to start. I only have the Norwegian cover for this, and that is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I will insert the uh, American cover right here, because that's one that you will probably recognize. But this is a story of two young people that connects on a sexual level. They want to build up a sexual relationship. She is not ready for love, not ready for relationships, and he is a guy that um, only has two rules and that is don't uh, ask about my past and don't expect a future with me and of course those rules will be broken and there is love and drama and just um, a very interesting read I've heard many people talk about this book after reading it saying that they cried and it was so emotional and they really connected with the characters it wasn't that of an experience for me. I didn't connect with the characters that much as so many others do. And I haven't really done that with any, any of Colleen Hoover's um, books so far, even though I've only read two. But it was still a really good read. It had some really good sexual and graphic content without being way up there as an erotica book. But definitely if you want to ease into it, this is a good option. Now that I've told you about the books that I've read so far in the project, I want to update you on where I am with my reading right now. I am currently reading Islands by Richard V. Raymond or Rayma. I'm not sure how to pronounce your last name. Let me know if I butchered this one as well. Richard reached out to me when I had my plea for good erotica and asked if he could send me his book. And of course I said yes. I'm always curious to read authors that have the guts to say, hey, here's my book. Could you read it and tell me what you think about it? So, of course, I said yes. This is a story set in the 1700s. It is two men ending up on an island after a shipwreck. And, of course, the sexual frustration will get to these men throughout the story. And later on, there will be a woman joining as well. I've not gotten that far into the story yet, so I don't really know how this comes to be. But I'm really excited to read a book that has some gay erotic content to it. I think it's really... Uh, important for this project that it is a diverse project. So Islands is what I'm reading right now. After that I really want to get to Dark Lover by G.R. Ward. This is the first in a series of vampire erotic books and I haven't read a really good vampire story in a long time and to be able to combine that hopefully with some erotic content for this project makes me really excited and I look forward to diving into this and I'm kind of hoping that I get hooked on this series and kind of not because I know how it is when you get hooked on that series and you just want to go on but there's all these other books that you want to read as well so you don't know if you're gonna binge read or if you're gonna take some pauses and read books in 
between them but yeah I know it's a luxury problem and I shouldn't be complaining so I'm gonna stop right now I'm just really excited to be doing this project I'm really excited to be sharing it with you let me know in the comments down below if you have any um, favorites when it comes to erotic literature if you have read any of these books and have some thoughts on them I would love to hear that too and of course as I mentioned in the beginning of the video if you are interested in wanting to join in an erotic book club I will definitely make time to make one and we can read together and explore the wonderful world of good erotic Thank you so much for watching. I promise you there will not be as long of a wait for episode 3 of Exploring Erotica. I am back and I am loving every minute of it. I'm really working hard on some good projects right now and I can't wait to share them all with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video soon. Bye!